Lake Lanier has been showing out recently. There are more largemouth this year that I think have been caught than any other time in my life ever since I've lived here. I've lived here for a long, long, long time now, probably at least 20 years. And I've been fishing this lake for at least 15. But I've seen more largemouth caught over this last month, and huge largemouth, might I add, than ever before on Lake Lanier. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys some of those highlight catches. I think every one of these fish is over five pounds. Many of you guys saw, but I made a post on a absolute freak of a largemouth bass that I caught the other day. Unfortunately, I did not have it on camera, but if you guys stick around to the end of the video, I'm gonna go in depth on how I caught that fish, where I caught that fish, and give you guys how big it actually was. So make sure you guys stick around to the end for that. Most of these fish that you're going to see today are caught on a swim bait. So uh, that secret's out of the bag there, but you guys know I love throwing swim baits. Most of these five plus pounders are on a swim bait. If you guys have thrown a swim bait before, go ahead and comment down below what your largest swim bait fish is. So hopefully you guys enjoy this one. If you do, go ahead, remember to drop a like, subscribe to the channel. Now let's jump right into this first monster. Let's go. Look at the size of that one. <sighs> there is another one with it too. That's why you throw that swim bait. I skipped it up under that dock and literally I thought it hit the back wall because it stopped. I think that thing ate it like literally as soon as it touched the water, it skipped under, then just stopped. And uh, look at that fish right there. That's got to be a five, I would think. 507. That's an awesome fish right there. But that's why you guys throw that swim bait. Catch you a kicker like that one.
There's another big one right there. On the swim bait. I've actually missed like another three or four. But if we can get five of these, it's gonna be a mega bag. There's some big largemouth on this lake right now. I guess not right now, I guess they're always here. But they're pushing up shallow to spawn. And you can finally catch a lot of them. That fish wasn't going anywhere. Look at the size of that one. Oh my goodness. Look at that fish, guys. Again. I'm not keeping any secrets from you guys. If you guys go out and throw a swim bait, you guys know I love swim baits. But if you go out and throw a swim bait, catch a fish like this, my goodness. That fish has a massive head. And look at the size of that mouth. But a beautiful fish post spawn. That was the coolest bite ever. 526 post spawn. That fish is probably a close to seven or eight pounds when it's full. But let's let her go. That was the coolest bite. That fish was actually cruising next to the dock. Just saw a huge black shadow. I'm only in about four or five feet of water here. I flipped that swim bait. I had already casted it out, so it was coming by the dock. And that fish saw it and just slowly turned and started following, which is really weird. I mean, it almost looked like an ocean fish, kind of like a barracuda coming up on a, a fish. But it was super slow. And I just kept reeling and unfortunately, if you guys throw a paddle tail like this mag draft, it's not like a glide bait where you can get it to cut and react to get that fish to react. So all you can do is just really just keep reeling. I mean, there's really nothing you can do. And that fish came up under it, paused, came up under it, paused, and then probably like four or five feet from the boat. Hopefully we can see it on the replay. Like, I don't know, probably six, seven feet from the boat, munched it, boom. Hooked her, five and a half pounder, five and a quarter pounder.
Well, I just broke off my mag draft on who knows how big a fish. I just cast it around this dock over here. And it hit on the back side, on the shade side. And uh, it, I didn't move it, guys. I mean, I smashed it. It came up. I saw the splash, but I, I couldn't see its head or anything. And it was around one of the, or just like just barely on the side of the dock. And I guess that was enough to, uh, to break it off. But I, I think that was a big fish. When I hit that fish, it didn't move much at all. That's a bummer. All right, so all of those fish catches were pretty cool. Again, I think 90% of them or most of them, if I remember correctly, were all on a swim bait. I'm still catching fish on a swim bait. It's no secret there. I guess the secret's out kind of thing, but I promise you guys, it's not easy, but if you go and put in the time, eventually you will be successful and be able to catch, you know, giant fish on swim baits. Now, as I promised at the beginning of the video, I caught a absolute freak of a largemouth bass, probably one of the biggest profiled bass. I'll give you a little hint, it was not my personal best, but I just wanna walk you guys through all of that because it was not on camera. So that particular day that I went out, again, I had, or I have been fishing, you know, more of that spawn pattern. A lot of these big largemouth have already started to move up and Honestly, most of them, or not most of them, I should say, but a good number of them have already spawned. That's for the largemouth. So as you guys have saw, those largemouth are up shallow, and that's the, the fish that I was targeting. So with this big fish, I went over and I worked myself into a, a, a back of a pocket. You know, I was fishing into the back of a pocket. I was, you know, just fishing. Most of these fish guys... If you guys watch, I mean, most of the time, I wasn't even looking at my electronics. You could honestly turn them off and do the same thing that I am doing. But for this particular fish, I remember looking down at my electronics and I scanned and I saw this brush pile in about, you know, 10, 12 feet at the back of this pocket right next to a dock. And there were three blobs, pretty big blobs on the screen. And if you guys are familiar at all with forward facing sonar, a blob is an indicator of a fish. And normally the larger the blob, the larger the fish. That's how it works. So I saw these three fish right next to the brush pile and I had a shaky head. And so what do I do? I mean, I don't think anything of it. I just flip the shaky head over and uh, you know, watch it go down right next to this brush pile. And these three fish immediately are interested and they swim over to it and this one, you know, a, a very big one. There were two that were this size, two that were monsters, and then one that was a little bit smaller. But one of the big blobs comes over, noses up, and then all of a sudden I just feel this little tick. You know, it's just a boom on my line. And obviously that's a bite. So I've, again, I've got a spinning rod. I've got 10 pound braid, eight pound leader, and a shaky head. And not knowing how big this fish is or anything like that, but I set the hook and immediately I know it's big. I could not move the fish or the rod, you know, it's light line, light tackle, all that stuff, but the rod just loads up and golly, I couldn't move the fish. I thought I had the brush pile. I really did. I thought I was like over a limb or just something was off. It's just what I initially felt. And then it started moving very slowly, like not very fast at all. It's not like it panicked or freaked out or anything, but this fish just started moving. I mean, it was probably like this fast. It wasn't very fast at all, but I could feel it moving. And so I leaned a little bit harder and I couldn't move this fish. And I pulled back even more, couldn't move it. And again, it's moving super slow. And at this point in my head, I'm like, it's a catfish. I mean, that's the first thing I thought. It's stuck to the bottom. You know, I couldn't move it at all. It's heavy. It's a big fish. It's a catfish. That's all I could think. And now I'm thinking this thing's swimming me into the brush. There's a dock on one side and you know, the brush in the, you know, back of the middle of the pocket. And this is all separated by maybe, you know, no more than 20 feet, the length of a boat. So this fish has lots of areas where it can hang me up, wrap me around, you know, a dock pole or in the brush. And so I start leaning on this fish even more, you know, kind of cupping the reel to, to tighten the drag down and I'm pulling and it's still just swimming real slow and like nothing crazy. And that's why I didn't think it was a bass. And then it starts coming up to the surface 
and all of a sudden it shakes. And if you guys have caught a giant largemouth before, or most large, large, I would say, golly, if you've caught one over seven pounds, they get to a point where instead of actually jumping, all they do is just stick their head out of the water and shake their head because they literally can't get out of the water. And this fish comes up and all I saw was his head and it shook and I knew it was a bass. Obviously at that point I knew it was a bass. And surprisingly, I'm normally pretty animated, you know, jacked up and amped up when I catch fish, especially big fish. For some crazy reason, guys, I wish this was on video, but I was just perfectly calm. I don't remember what, I mean, my brain, I was just brain dead. I just wasn't thinking, just along for the ride, you know, enjoying this, thinking it is what it is. And I didn't think much of it. So for the next, I'd say two minutes, this fish, you know, would take off. And again, with light line, I can't do anything. It's just pulling me along. There was a few times, like I said, it tried to go under the dock, pulled it out, tried to go back towards the brush pile, not real close to it, but again, had to pull that out. And then it just started swimming out towards the middle of the pocket towards deep water. And so what I did is hop on the trolling motor, you know, and just followed it around until it got tired and ended up didn't even get the net or anything again. I don't know what I was thinking. I really don't. Normally I'm like freaking out and jumping around and all that. I just sat back in the back of the boat, you know, and reached down and lit this fish. And it was like the most peaceful, calm experience ever. And I lifted this fish up and I'll show you guys these pictures, but absolute freak of a fish, freak of a fish. So that's how it all went down. That's kind of a little story for you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed that, just kind of walking through that. Again, I caught it on a shaky head, on a spinning rod, and no doubt that fish was up there and had already spawned. I'm thinking it had already spawned shallow or up under that dock and was pulled back to that brush pile to start feeding up again because as you guys saw from the pictures, that fish's head was bigger. And again, if you guys have been following along for a while, I've caught a lot of fish you know, around the country and I've caught some giant bass, specifically out in Texas. And my personal best is a nine pound, nine ounce bass. So absolute freak. This fish's head, I kid you not, I've caught so many fish over eight pounds. I've caught a handful over nine pounds. This fish's head was bigger than any fish's head that I've ever caught. Let's put it that way. And its length was longer than any fish that I've ever caught. So... I tell you guys that again, because from my past experience and seeing giant fish, this fish ended up weighing seven pounds, nine ounces. So huge fish still, absolutely huge fish, but this fish was totally post-spawn. It was skinnied out. And uh, again, I think it just came off the bed. That's my opinion on uh, why it was so light. And obviously you can see it was shaped like a triangle. But if this fish was, you know, I'll even call it moderately healthy and filled out, I'm going to say that that fish in a healthy state is anywhere in between eight and a half and, you know, nine and a half pounds, depending on, you know, if it just ate or not. And with the absolute potential, if that thing fills out into a bowling ball, I mean, that's a 10 pounder, no doubt about it. So seven and a half pounds, absolute freak of a fish. I know you guys are wondering, thank you guys so much for, for playing along in the comment section on that post and, and making your guesses. I think one person actually, if I remember, I just looked the other day, guessed the exact weight. So uh, congrats to them, but they guessed, I think it was seven pounds, nine ounces or something like that. So congrats to them for choosing the exact weight. Maybe we'll do a giveaway or something. Maybe I'll send that person. So if you're watching this video and you are the person that guessed that, go ahead and uh, contact me or post it down in the comments below that you won. And I'll double check that and we'll, we'll try and figure something out. But that's how it all went down. Super, super fun fish catch. Like I said, it was a surreal experience. I wish it was on camera. Honestly, that day, guys, I was just feeling like going fishing and not worrying about, you know, setting up the cameras and, you know, filming and all that stuff. So that's entirely on me. I'll take that one for sure. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, you know, hearing how it all went down and that experience. But again, absolute huge fish. Got her, you know, released, took some pictures with some uh, with some family members, took some pictures back at the dock and uh absolute joy of a catch but as you guys can see again from the entire video huge largemouth are being caught actually the taa tournament 
on Lanier is supposed to be going on, I think, next week. I would not be surprised at all if there were some giant largemouth weighed in for that tournament. And especially with it being no forward facing, I would imagine that a lot of guys are going to go shallow and swing. So that's my prediction for that. I don't know if they'll be throwing swim baits or not. They probably should. Again, it's been working for me. And as you guys saw, I mean, I've caught so many five pounders over the last few weeks doing this. So Again, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. If you did, go ahead, like the video. Remember to comment down below on your biggest bass on a swim bait. And as always, I will see y'all soon.